He says, He is your righteousness. That's Jeremiah 23, verse 5 through 8. If you want to read that, our righteousness is of the Lord. Isaiah 54, verse 17. Jesus Christ is my righteousness. I don't need fringes. I got Jesus Christ. I speak his word. I live his life. What's his life? A life without sin. A life pleasing to, to the Father. And he's the Father. He is my Father. I become the Son. Right? He went back to the throne. He went back to being uh, uh, God. He was in the earth as Son of God. For you and me as a sanctuary, as a refuge. You know what I'm saying? God can be in more than one place at one time, right? Ain't God in every country right now? Right? And in every saint, the true worshippers, ain't he with them all over the earth right now? So he can be in heaven and earth at the same time. And that's what he did. When you see the person of Jesus Christ, they say, well, who is he praying to? Say, yeah! Yeah! Don't you talk to yourself? That's how he created us. That when we talking to ourselves, we talking to him, right? We talking to him. Mo, 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 you know, when you have a right mind, right? All right? We meditate. When he said we meditate, he said, Lord, let the words of our heart, uh, the meditation of our heart, and the words of our mouth be acceptable in our sight. That's uh, Psalms 19. That's Psalms 19. That last verse. The meditation of my heart, the words of my mouth be acceptable in our sight. O Lord, my strength and my name. We talking to him. We talking to him. That's how he created us. To be one. To be one. Right? With him. With him. He created us in his same image. And like so when you see Jesus Christ, that's not another God. That's not two gods. That's the manifestation of God. Alright. So having our own righteousness which is of the law but that which is through the faith here's what we need the faith of Christ the righteousness which is of God by faith God gives you this by faith his son <laughs> and we can say that his son that's still himself that's his power his son is his salvation his son is his name that's all his name is one John 10 30 my father and I are one all other confusion is because you got to decrease Christ got to increase in you this got to be revealed to you by revelation all right faith worketh by love you got to start falling in love with Jesus right you have to start falling in love with Jesus Christ I, I, I can't make it no plainer than that yeah, I said that at the end of the last video right and y'all got to start practicing this. You, you can't just fake You can't fake your love with Jesus. Stop being fake. Stop being hypocrites. You can't fake it. You're going to have to be sincere. You're going to have to be real in one hunt. You know. You're going to have to bring your naked self before his presence and be one hunt. You know. And let him transform you. Now, how many gonna do that? How many gonna do that? And, uh, are y'all getting this? And, uh, so this falsehood, man, you don't wanna be a hypocrite. That's all gold ties into being a hypocrite. The falsehood thing is being a hypocrite, all right? And uh, a hypocrite's time is short. You might have a joy for a, little, for a minute, for a little while, playing that hypocrite role, but that's going to pass away. It's not going to hold. It's not going to hold you. You need what's going to carry you through to the end, all the way to the end. The Bible said, he that endures to the end shall be saved. That's transformation. The hypocrite don't get transformation. The hypocrite, uh, let me get a uh, Proverbs 14, 14. The hypocrite's portion is himself. 
you know but the true believer their portion is the Lord the Lord you get the Lord's life the Lord's life now who bringing you videos like this I'm not boasting and bragging I'm just saying stay here stay with this channel go and visit the uh, other videos of King Superman yeah uh, there's two or three scattered sites that's up that, that I no longer in, in control of I lost the passwords and stuff like that but find the King Superman videos even of old and bless yourself bless yourself with these videos all right and uh let me get Proverbs 14 14 come on phone don't start tripping it's doing something yeah come on phone don't trip on me now here we go I guess all right one more round y'all what I want Proverbs 14 14 let's go there people looking at me like I'm crazy but it, it's gonna happen Proverbs 14 it's like a uh, Mary Magdalene was at that party all eyes was on her they were talking about her dog her when you come to Christ all eyes going to be on you. When you start saying Jesus, understand you go on display. And everybody ain't going to like you. So, are you willing to take that shame for his name? Are you willing to suffer shame for his name? Just ask yourself that. That's going to tell you whether you're going to serve him right there or not. That's going to tell you whether you love him right there or not. If you're not willing, you, you're not going to, you're not, you don't love him. His love ain't in you. Ask him to put his love in you. The Bible said you have not because you ask not. The Bible said ask you shall receive. Seek you shall find. Knock that door shall be open. Ask him to put it in you. You don't have it. If you if you been just being a hypocrite thinking you got it when you don't have it, you never gonna have it. You gotta stop being phony baloney. Tell the Lord you desolate. Tell the Lord you empty and void in the inside. You dry, cold, dead, wretched, miserable, and blind. That's what it says in Revelation. Tell him you all of that. Busted and disgusted. Huh? Tell him you all of that. And you want salvation. In the name of Jesus Christ. Tell him you repent of being a hypocrite. You repent of being a deceiver. And an unbeliever. And you ready to make good on his name. You better tell him that before it's too late. Who is this? Proverbs 14, 14. It says, The backslider in heart shall be filled with his own ways. And a good man shall be satisfied from himself. You see that? This is what the hypocrite. He's the backslider. The hypocrite uh, in his heart. Uh... He, he trusted in his own heart. It tells us in another place in Proverbs that the hypocrite trusts in his own heart. It says, The backslider in heart shall be filled with his own ways. You got your own ways. You got your own opinions. I talk to people all the time. And they had their own opinions. I be sharing God's word. And they still ain't disagreeing with me. That's your own opinion. You a backslider in heart. You are a hypocrite. Because you ain't supposed to have your own opinion. You ain't, you ain't supposed to have your own ways. You suppose that's your that's righteousness, that's self-righteousness. We read that in Philippians. That's your righteousness, which is of the law. Your own righteousness is under the law of condemnation. And this video should break. It should make you fall on your face, fall on Christ, and be broken. Be broken. Follow him telling you. That you stone, you stony hearted. You stubborn. Tell him all of that. That you stubborn, stony hearted. Backslider in heart shall be filled with his own ways. Check this out. 
and a good man shall be satisfied from himself. You got to get away from you, the old you, the sinner you, the corruptible you, huh? <laughs> the you who's under God's condemnation, right? The you that have self-righteousness, right? The you that's an unbeliever in the name of Jesus Christ. You got to be satisfied. You're not good until you accept God's good word. That's what it is. Let me go one more place. God's word is the good. And a good man said that his word makes you the good man. Where's your proof, King Superman? Okay, let's go to James 1, 17. One more verse, y'all. James 1 and 17. I think one more verse. Let's we'll see how the Holy Ghost lead it. It says a good man shall be satisfied from himself, right? How do you become a good man? Because Jesus said only one is good but God, right? But didn't God come to make us in his image and likeness? Right? Jesus said only one is good, that's God. But then God said I make man in my image and likeness. Genesis 1 26. Right? Okay. James 1 17. The good are those that believe every word of God is pure. From Genesis to Revelation, 66 books, King James Red Letter. Every word of God is pure. Okay? If you don't believe that, you you cannot get this inheritance. You cannot get this birthright. You're going to stay a hypocrite. You're going to stay a backslider. Filled with your own ways. Right? James 1.17 Every word, every good gift, every good gift, G-O-O-D, and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of lights with whom is no verbalness, neither shadow of turning. There's no changing. Nor shadow of turning. The Old Testament was the shadow. Okay? This means you can't see. You, you don't have no light. Till you receive Jesus Christ. Who told us from his own mouth. That he's the light of the world. You saying he's a liar? I'm asking y'all. Are y'all saying Jesus Christ is a liar? John 8, 12. He says, I am the light of the world. He that follows me shall not abide in darkness. But shall have the light of life. All right? See, without him, you are in that shadow of death. Without Jesus Christ, you are in that shadow of death. Okay? Every good gift, every perfect gift, right? And the Bible's a gift, the gift of God. Alright? Some people are still wondering, well, who wrote the Bible? Where did the Bible come from? It's the gift of God. Just like these trees, this fruit. Yeah, you got to pay for that too. That don't mean God didn't give it to us free he gave us free fish he gave us free water he gave us free air yeah do corruptible man that's why you see judgment on men yeah they corrupt that's why they selling what's of god that don't mean god ain't real because man is corrupt oh, what is that job 9 24 say the earth is given into the hands of the wicked the earth is given into the hands of the wicked so yeah, he gonna he gonna sell you. You got you got to pay to be born in this world, thousands of dollars. If you don't have no insurance, thousands of dollars, thousands of dollars with insurance to be to die, to be buried, thousands of dollars. That don't mean it ain't no God, cause Esau is the wicked, y'all. He gonna be judged. God had to create a wicked to even have some kind of society, some kind of world. He did this for the saints' pleasure, so you can know his powers. So he, he, you you don't have no understanding unless you in Christ Jesus, and he raises you up through his word. His word is wisdom and understanding and righteousness. Then you can see all the goodness of God, the gifts of God, the glory of God. You know that's what a saint is. He understands. It. He stopped. Look at the trees. He stopped. Look at the grass. You know what I'm saying? He, yeah, he pick up a flower. He. He's looking at the creation of God now through different eyes. Through different eyes. You once was blind, but now you see. Even self. You look at self differently. A good man, we just read, man. 
shall be satisfied from himself.